doing now? This is Chester Police Employee trying to jump in my car today in about 20, We're connecting 20 to 5. 20 to 5. Sarah Clayton trying to jump in my car. Got in my car. Turn up. Open my door. Get in my car. Let's see what they're going to do about it. Hello? Switchboard. Good afternoon. What's your caller number, please? Why? You come through to the switchboard. I just want to make sure, because Cheshire Police have they, they've been they don't they don't do the correct information. This phone call is recorded it's for the reference of the record review. That's why I was asking you your caller number, right, please. You're going, you've come through to the switchboard. I'm not giving you my phone. I will, okay, no problem. I'm, I'll, I'll pop you through to the switchboard operator. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll put you through to the call handler. Thank you. Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> Cheshire Police don't like to give out their caller number, but they like to harass us on the streets. They can't give us any reasons why they're stopping us. Let's do this now, Cheshire Police. Let's do it now, Cheshire Police. You're Sarah Clayton to jump in my car. I bet they won't come on the phone now. <laughs> it was today, the 12th of, 12th, of, 12th of February, 2018, at 20 to 5, when I came for my doctor to request my medical record, I pulled over to sort out my navigate, my, my phone stuff. Sarah Clayton put her head in my window to jump in my car. Let's do this now, Sarah Clayton. She trying to tell me, Ian, to apologise to my missus about asking the children if they're gay and mistaking my children for... You You think I'm playing with you, Sarah? I'm not playing with you. Let's do this now, you the Cheshire police, you Sarah Clayton, informant selling drugs in the whole constituency. Let's do this now, you Ian Sawley. You ask my children if they're gay, and you tell him... You tell him because he's mistaking them. He's mistaking a girl for a boy, so he still ask the question, you, you, you sick people, Satanist. Oh, they won't come on the phone now, will it, Cheshire? Cheshire yeah, I'm sure you can't come on the phone now, can you? And will be answered shortly. Let's see Cheshire Police doing some real work. They don't come on the phone when it's Sarah Clayton, do they? We are sorry for the delay in answering your call. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered shortly. I'm sorry, Cheshire Police is sorry for the delay. When we're reporting about crimes about Sarah Clayton or Ian Thorley, anything to do with not Adam Mustafa, they're not interested. But Sarah Clayton today trying to jump in my car 20 to 5. She's trying to force her way in. She's harassing me with this nonsense. So I'm doing it for real. Let's do this now, Sarah Clayton. Think I'm messing about and Betty's dad is chasing my kids. The children are telling you themselves to social services. But social services can't do nothing. Or police can't do nothing. I'm going to do something. Let's do this now. I'm taking it by myself. Since Cheshire police or the MPs can't do nothing, I am, I am, I'm taking it on myself as Adam Mustafa. Let's do this now. Yeah, you can't find Cheshire police when you need them. When Sarah Clayton is arresting us on the street. Selling drugs in Congoton. Bring it on now. Let's do it, Sarah Clayton. Oh, Cheshire Police is not available when you need them. They can't give evidence in court. Three court orders. They can't do nothing. They dare harass black people. Let's do it now. Let's do it, Cheshire Police. Cheshire East Council and CWP the we I'm ready. Let's do it. This is how your propaganda and smearing works. You give people the wrong information. They come at us like we think we're crazy. We don't give a monkey. We want the truth. Bring the paperwork.
let's do this now. You the police, you know where to find the cameras, you, all the evidence in it. It was at 20 to 5 when I came for my doctor, right outside my dentist, Sarah Clayton, trying to open my door and trying to jump in my car. I just drove off. I told her. And she starts saying, Ian Thorley apologised. Apologise to the informant. They, that same informant that forgot to tell me when Betty's dad was chasing the kids down the road. And the kids told social services, but the social services don't, don't speak English. We're never going to stop until they put flowers on us. Soldiers, 100. They must be really busy down there today. Or oh, what is it about Sarah Clayton or met his dad chasing the children? The, the police can't do nothing. Inspector Brickhill, 1337 himself, is there reporting me for other things. It's not over Cheshire Police and Sarah Clayton. Because you, you police are protecting your own criminal family who's selling drugs in our constituency. And they, 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 they're asking our children if they're gay. We're never going to stop until they kill us. You're talking about your dad, sir. When my dad died, people were showing me bogeys. Telling my son they're going to break their neck. I'm supposed to, be, to just be chilling there. Let's do it now, Sarah. You were ready? You came to my house at the same time when I nearly got kicked out. You came to spy on me. Why did you come to our house? I didn't invite you there. Why did you come there, Sarah? Let's do this now, you stupid Cheshire police informant, drug dealer, whatever. That's what I never wanted to do nothing with you. It's just a message. You never listen. She's there having coffee with you every Tuesday and your other police officer. While we are here grinding and she's there having coffee with police. You, you and your informant stick together now. Sarah Clayton, you keep harassing us. We're gonna tell Cheshire Police we'll take him where you put your drugs, Sarah Clayton. We, we can take him if they want to. You don't play stupid with us, Sarah. You're trying to jump in my car today. I'm ready. Your Cheshire Police is not available now. You, you see, we're not playing with you, Sarah. You can do what you like. We, we live on Sarah Clayton and Ian Thorley. Sergeant Brick, Sergeant Brick Hill, you're trying to report me. This is, I've been said what's been, there's more to come. This is only the beginning. Let's do this now. Cheshire police when you need them.
Come on, Cheshire Police, where are you? We can't find you. <coughs> you are, you're an employee, Sarah Clayton, today, trying to open the car. The, 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 12th, of, the 12th of February 2018, outside my dentist on Congleton, on Congleton High Street there. If you're not sure, you can check it out. But you're not here to answer the phone, Cheshire Police. We, we're coming for you. And your informant. And the social services that didn't give us their protection details. We're coming for all of you. Try them again, maybe. Try Cheshire Police again because they don't seem to come on the phone when you when you need when. Good Sarah... evening, Cheshire Police. How can I help you? Good evening. Um, can I take your caller number, please? My caller number. Yeah, of course. It's two zero eight six seven. Two zero eight six seven. Yeah. My how name can is I help you? My name is Adam Mustafa. Just to let you know, this phone call is recorded. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I want to report Sarah Clayton today because when I was going to my doctor's. Right. When I came for my doctor's, which is Reedsmore in Congleton, I was chasing my medical records because when Cheshire Police and CWP, the Wiro, came and kicked me out of my house with my wife's allegation, who's Sela Clay, who, who is Sela Clayton's friend, I was forced out of my house, I was forced into hospital, and then forced medication, then left homeless, and since then, I haven't been able to see my children. I've been arrested more times than I've than I've ever than, 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 than in my life and the last time I was arrested is 20 years ago but since we have set my wife and Sarah Clayton I, my life has been hell and the one I report today Sarah Clayton today I was I was driving when I came for my doctor I parked up near my dentist you can see down the high street my dentist I parked up I was trying to call somebody Sarah Clayton jumped in my window trying to open my car harassing me telling me why why am I talking about her on Facebook and Twitter and all this stuff? I said, because Ian Thorley asked my children if they're gay. And he, she said, Sarah Clayton, well, Ian Thorley mistaken my son for my daughter. And I said, that still doesn't make sense. And why did she, she said about this drug business? Because I said, it's true. So I want to report harassment. And, and you can tell Detective Inspector Jess, Claire Jason, I want the warrant for the eviction because I'm getting harassed by your own employee, Sarah Clayton, and then I'm not having it. So, sorry, who's Sarah Clayton? Sarah Clayton is Cheshire Police employee. I can I can go and find it. I can go to the address tomorrow and find out because I came and spoke to Inspector Brick Hill. His shoulder number is one double three one double three seven from for Marcosfield Police Station on the fourth of November two thousand and seventeen. Explain to him the problem about Sarah Clayton and everything else. He never did nothing. He reported me for something else to Andy, to, to whoever he is. Somebody else came and see me. Not about what I was telling him about what happened to my children and what Sarah Clayton did to my children, like what Sarah Clayton did today. Nothing. He reported me for something else. This is why we in the black community, we are fed up with Cheshire police for lying in court, harassing us on the streets. Our kids are... There's not even me, even the MP's family has been chased down the road. We are fed up with Cheshire Police because you don't do nothing. Okay, so we get the general idea that you're fed up with Cheshire Police. Well, how can I help you just now? Mr. Can Inspector? you ask Detective Inspector Claire Jason to call me tomorrow, please? Detective Inspector Claire Jason from Crew Police Station. And you've got that message because she keep she keep telling me she keeps acting like she doesn't know what I'm talking about. But you tell her this has happened today. 
At around 10 to 5, on Congleton High Street, opposite my dentist, was all minding my own business, Sarah Clayton, jumping in my car, trying to open my door. So you tell her to ring me. You've got my number. It's on your screen. And same number, Sarah Clayton has got that number. So, sorry, who is it you want to ring you? Detective Inspector Claire Jason from Crew Police Station. Okay, so you've seen Jason the surname, J-A-S-O-N, like the, book, the name. Detective Inspector Jason, J-E-S-S-O-N. J-E-S-S-O-N. And do you have a caller number at all? She didn't give me a caller number. All I know is she's a Detective Inspector from Crew Police Station. Right, okay. What shall I say it's regarding? It's regarding the legal eviction carried out by Cheshire Police on the 27th of September 2016, which Cheshire Police lied in their report by saying I volunteered to be hospitalized in the hospital but well realistically they were forcing me with force and I was injured and this is why my doctor is failing to demonstrate these records and so as the CWP is failing to demonstrate these records and same as yourself Cheshire Police you failed to demonstrate the warrant but on your report you say you had a warrant and blah 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 and Detective Inspector Claire Jason was telling me oh, right, okay. you, she knows what I'm talking about you get her to ring me please all right, well, as far as I can see, we've already dealt with this complaint, so... Oh, he hasn't been dealt with, because I still haven't got the warrant. Complaint hasn't been dealt with, because you don't close cases before them being finished. How can you close the cases? And on my original letter, I was asking you for the warrant. Even on the first, very first day, you was a victim me. On the 27th of September, 2016, I was asking Cheshire Police... And, and the mental health people, have they got, how did my wife make their delegation? Did she do it in writing or did she do it over the phone? I want to see the paperwork. Your police officer was telling me he doesn't have to show me anything. And I've got that recording. I recorded it myself and I was there. So I want that warrant. If you don't understand me, I'm sure you understand me now. Because it's the same warrant that stopped me from seeing my children for nothing. Because of Cheshire Police, the children told you themselves... Betty's daddy was chasing them down the road and people were saying we're going to break their necks in school premises while Mrs. Walklate is reporting us for harassment. All she had to do was to tell us what did she do when the people said they're going to break my son's neck? What did she do? That's all she has to do. Same with yourself. You just have to show the warrant. Okay, well, as far as I'm aware, this um, complaint has already been dealt with so no Whoa. one will contact you back regarding the same complaint. Well, um, you could Send the letter in if you're not happy with how you complain to well, 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 this is the problem with it. We've, I've already paid £10. It's the same with you and Cheshire's Council. I paid you both £10 to release all the information you have on your records. But when I paid that, when you gave me the information, it didn't indicate why I was... why. Well, it didn't indicate the warrant in there. There's no warrant in there, number one. On your reports, you said I volunteered to be hospitalised. I didn't volunteer to be hospitalised. And another thing, the same thing with the CWP, the WIRO, the, the mental health people. They haven't got anything in writing because of my wife's delegation. I asked them originally, both of you, how did they, how did they, and, you, and Cheshire Police had the warrant at the time when I was asking them, but they didn't, they didn't even show it to me. Mr. Mustafa, at this stage, all I can suggest is if you've got further complaint, then you need to pop it in writing for us. Would you I've, like me to give you the email address? I've already put it in writing. All I'm asking you kindly for the last time, just ask Detective Inspector Claire Jason to give me a ring. Because she, she, she told me, the last time I spoke to her, she told me I should send her an email with a list of the things that are, are, are giving me problems. Well, the number one problem is I want to report Sarah Clayton today around 4.40 in Congleton. She was jumping in my car, harassing me about the same things, about the same things her husband was asking my children if they're gay. And then she said... Did, sorry, Mr. Masur, did you say the last thing that um, Claire Jason asked you to do was to send her an email? No. Well, you're missing the oh, point I'm here. sorry, I thought you just said the last... She asked you to send her an email. Well, the emails for me is too late now. I don't want no email. I want to report today. I'm ringing today to report Sarah Clayton... At around, when I was coming for my doctor, I parked up in front of my dentist, which was on the main street. You can check on your cameras. Sarah Clayton popped in, jumped ahead of my car in my window, and I want that CCTV. She jumped in there. She, she's harassing me for the things I said I'm, I'm writing about gay stuff. Because, she, because her husband, Ian Thorley, did ask my children if they're gay. And she said, Ian Thorley mistaking my, my son for, for a girl. And then I said... That doesn't matter still to me. So, and then she's still telling me, why am I doing this? I said, listen, just get out of my car. She was trying to open the door. My, my car, my door was locked. And, I, and then 
She was sort of still jumping. I just drove off. Yeah? So that's what I want to report. And the number two thing is, I want Detective Inspector Claire to give me a ring, please. It's two but things. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you are talking quite um, aggressively, and I'm not quite getting... What, what is it you want to report just now? Oh, not a problem. I'll go there in the morning tomorrow. I'll go and find Detective in Claire Jason myself. What's your name again and your caller number, sorry? Yeah, my caller number is 20867. And where are you based? I'm sorry? Where are you based? I'm based at Winsford. Thank you very much. You have a good evening. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. What was he moaning about? The same thing. He's already got it. I know. Yeah. When he first came on, what are your calling on, Oh, here we go. So, that was the first thing he said. And um, my, all these, all my calls are recorded. I went, right, okay. He goes, do you understand that? Do you understand that I'm recording you? I went, yes. And how can I help you this evening, Mr. Mustafa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he did, and that's why I went, oh, should I? So I was like, oh, for God's sake. So obviously I found that incident from, me, from the Tim, and I was like, oh, here we go. Just a place to know we still recording them. Ah! <laughs> I'm out. Good evening. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Peace. Peace.